a very good evening to everyone those who have joined i hope things are very clear fine so that we can start the session for the day uh, one of you can quickly just revert me back so that we can start the session for the day if is everything fine the voice the ppt is everything is clear i'm just waiting for the revert so that we will be able to start the session on time one of you can just answer me back yes oh, yes thank you thank you very much kitty so yes welcome you all to nta ugc net paper 1 preparation that is revision series which we have and the topic today we have taken is itc uh, in the form of expected or revision series uh, just before we start with the session a very clear idea i'll be giving the questions are easy as i said it is bit little twisted or in different form so you should know how to read the question carefully and answer out of 20 questions i'm expecting all the scores to 15 and above yesterday students didn't ping the score and they just left so today without fail just put your scores properly so i'll understand how the next session has to be yes so before we start with the session yes a clear uh, understanding about global online university app which you can download with the help of google store uh, you have to select the category as ugc net paper 1 where you can get two free test videos and notes this will help you to able to check the app as well as understanding about the app in case if you are interested to join the course you can join the course wherein you will be given the detail syllabus with video lectures a 60 full syllabus test for your preparation notes as well as all the previous year questions from with the answers from 2011 to 2020 so this is what the facility you are going to get with the help of the app now so five marks for this uh, sorry five questions from this unit and 10 marks totally so let's start the session everyone yes good evening to all and here we have started with question number 1 a very easy question computer hardware consist of what is it a computer table is it a monitor and cpu software or google a very easy question to start with all non it students uh, in consideration with your backgrounds i have kept today's test so let's see how all of them are performing Yes good evening all those who have joined good evening to everyone just ensure that like share subscribe is been pressed and you start answering the question okay we have already started getting the answers yes others also computer hardware consist of what why there are no answers the question is not that difficult yes very good so yes so you can understand that is we have studied hardware and software so computer hardware from the options itself it is an easy option to understand that is monitor and the central processing unit so in case anyone who is still not aware of this component that is computer hardware is nothing nothing but a physical component that a computer system requires to function it consists of everything that operates with a laptop or a pc including the motherboard the car, the graphic card the cpu the ventilation fans the webcam power supply and so on examples given are the processor memory devices monitor printer keyboard out, mouse and central processing unit you can see yes uh, uh, thank you govardhan you can see there is a question on this but you know the question has to is easy the only thing is you have to just be careful while reading the question okay so let's go now question number 2 which of the following is a data visualization method okay question number 2 comes here that is which of the following is a data visualization method options given below are line circle and triangle pie chart and bar chart or pentagon so which of the following will be called as data visualization method uh, so you should know what is the meaning of data visualization then you will be able to answer this question very easily i'll read the question once again for everyone which of the following is called as data visualization method yes okay good great so yes the right answer is pie chart and bar chart but let's see what is exactly that data visualization it means it's nothing but the graphical presentation of information or available data yes it is a data presentation 
or you call it as you know visualization by using the elements like the pie chart the bar graph you have different types of graphs maps data visualization tools provide an accessible uh, way or easy way to understand the trends outliers and patterns of the data and that is nothing but it is called as data visualization yes data interpretation also we can use good okay what is the name for the web page address what will be the name of a web page address whether it is called as directory whether it is called as folder whether it is called as domain or whether it is called as url so what will be the web page address very easy questions are there so i just want everyone know to i i will be happy if and if we have 20 on 20 today with uh, yes everyone that is question number 3 i don't know why i am not these students are taking time okay uh yes zainab you had your yeah, run chart uh, i'll tell in case if anyone doesn't know run chart what she i'll i'll just tell you just a minute okay that concept is new in case if anyone is not aware yes very good and today students are really they have written the full form great that is nothing but it is called as uniform resource locator there is a question on this every time so you should be able to remember the full form as well so let's see what exactly url is nothing but a web page address which is which stands for the full form is uniform resource locator or a uniform resource locator as the full form of url it is nothing more than an address of a given unique source or a web such sources can be used for html page or a css css document that is the style sheets which is used to describe the written document either in html or xml or an image a very easy question but full forms you should be able to answer okay now when we talked about one student had just given you know one uh, good earn uh, understanding but in case if you do not know what is this run chart it can be in the form of data visualization which is also called as you know it is also known as you know run sequence or plotting you can also use the word as plotting okay it talks about uh, basically it displays the data in time sequence in time manner so if you if you can see i'm not that good at diagrams but if you can see the plotting okay with the help of dotted lines it it can go i mean to say the sequence can be in any form so this is called as you know run charts it can be also a part of a method of data visualization so just keep in mind in case if it comes in different way you should be aware of it okay yes now which one of the following uh, computer component is one of the fastest in terms of speed of ss read the question carefully don't be in a hurry to answer it read it carefully one of the following computer component which is fastest in terms of speed of ss the options given are usb drive it is solid state drive it is ram or is it hard disk drive so which of them okay we have already uh, i said that read the question very carefully okay so we have started getting the answers others also let's okay here see i mean to say I, i was expecting a very easy answer over here that's the reason i told three times i remember i said read the question very carefully i have given the meaning as what the question i know the question talks about fastest in terms of speed of access i didn't say fastest in the terms of memory storage memory yes now see now here are some students now see easily i mean to say how the answers are changing yes Ye but here uh, kaushalya please remember here they are talking about fastest in it here it is written very clearly fastest in the terms of speed of access so assessment it is not about memory so you have to be very very uh, clear when this type of questions are attacking you it is ram okay random access memory yes so please be careful in such type of questions you people will lose marks okay so let's see now 
RAMP is one of the computing device that stores data and programs which is used by central processing unit okay and e even i mean to say when we talk about the memory the fastest system memory that is cache memory the data which is frequently used by cpu in the stored form of cache memory and the fastest portion of cpu cache is in register file which can Uh, which consists of multiple registers in that form also i have given you first let me come to the memory and then i'll come to the difference of ram and rom that is going with registers the fastest type of memory then to catch very fast type of memory main memory or disk storage so when we talk about this levels fastlier uh, sorry faster and costlier and the slowest and cheapest so the fastest is cpu that is register which is very costlier and secondary memory that is slowest but but it in the form of cheapest memory so just be i have taken all the aspects of question but the question please remember the way the questions have been given you have to be very clear about it any student who do not know the distinguish if in case random access memory and read only memory will quickly revise that also that is difference between ram and rom ram is a temporary storage memory rom that is a permanent storage memory ram is volatile in nature rom is non volatile in nature it stores data in mbs megabytes and whereas in rom it stores in gigabytes it used it is used in the normal operation it is basically used for startup process of the computers writing data is much faster in ram whereas in rom it is much comparatively slow okay uh, so just just keep your calmness of mind while answering such questions okay now the next next question stands for what is ide what does the word or acronym ide stands for whether it is integrated device elect sorry drive electronics whether it is integrated device electronics whether it is integrated digi digital embedding or whether it is integrated digi digital assemble so what does ide stands for i'll read the options once again for you what does the word ide stands for integrated device electronics integrated digital embedding or device electron integrated device electronic or drive electronics or digital assemble 5c okay i'll just wait for uh, others also to answer it now in such questions uh, sometimes they can give you some additional steps also okay phi c but the answer is not f just a second yes the answer yes the answer for the fifth question is not c digital embedding it is drive electronics it is drive electronics i don't know why majority of the students have said have you read it somewhere in any of the book is it given and hope you have understood the meaning of it properly i'll just explain you what it is reference to uh, but uh, i was surprised to see all of them giving 5c so i don't know where where they read that term okay yes it is a that is integrated device electronics now digital embedding does not have any any reference with computer i mean to say with your syllabus i don't know why but okay let's understand what is this integrated yes then you have to because in book i didn't find this question i have just referred to some e books so, sorry e content in that e content i found this topic so integrated drive electronics it is basically Uh, a standard electronic interference uh, inter sorry interface which is used to create now see i have highlighted the content also that is which is used to create the software application drivers and utilities which was adopted by uh, american national standard institute uh, 1990 this is not important but yes the last sentence is important now these drives are replaced by stata that is nothing but serial advanced technological technology at attachment so drive that is in the year 2007 itself are they they are replaced by stata that is serial advanced technology attachment okay 
yes govardhan yeah that's what i have given here now please remember i didn't see in any of the book i would just i'll just check out in case but i in e content i found this concept so the concept is basically called as integrated drive electronics which is used for creation of software application drivers and utilities but by year 2007 they were replaced by stata that is serial advanced technology assessment attachment so just make a note of it and those who have seen a wrong answer please just correct yourself in books if they have seen anything wrong yes the next question is very easy but read don't do any silly mistake you need to use an automatic calculation in preparing a budget which type of software application would you use or should you should be used i'll read the question once again you need to use automatic calculations in preparing of a budget for that which software application will be used whether it is spreadsheet whether it is presentation whether it is word processing whether it is desktop publishing okay we have started getting answer okay very easy all the i mean to say you have an keyword uh, to understand a key hint is also there in the question so calculations that's presentation word processing or desktop publishing we do not do we definitely do it in the form of what we definitely do it in the form of spreadsheet yes so the three most common general use of the spreadsheet applications you know to create the budgets calculation graph charts or storing and sorting out the data it can be used in the form of uh, you know forecast the future performances calculation of taxes basic payrolls which are done now we, we even have advanced advanced excels to present all the data as very systematically producing charts and calculating revenues so spreadsheet basically the word calculation itself indicates what spreadsheet okay now uh yes mass the following just be careful i hope the screen is very clear very simple but read the question twice before you are answering so we have the acronyms in column a and in column b we have the function so you have to match the acronyms with the function all the acronyms we have done in our all classes so just take a proper time and uh, uh, go for it uh yes uh, neelam i was going to ask you which book you are referring so because i have never came across this i i was just finding with the help of because any new books in case they feel they have i could sort out you just tell me the book i'll just refer it in case if it is e copies available yes manish ninapal thank you very much hope this helps you to crack your examinations a bit support from r and okay fourth d okay all are there fourth d uh, sorry seventh d okay let's see so yes a uh, ram and rom if you sort it out it will be easier for you okay but let's see okay let's understand see first option that is acronym was cpu so yes cpu is the one which control all the functions performed by computer uh, uh, computers other component okay when we go for option number b that is ram ram is nothing but it is a temporary storage also known as the primary storage just now we did an option rom that is a permanent storage that is not erased by the computer when it is turned off and lcd that is the uh, full form i am not uh, i was not about to tell because there was one question anyways all thanks to govardhan he has already given you the hint that is liquid crystal display which is nothing but a type of technology on a flat screen monitor okay so i have also written for your understanding all the options over here so cpu is nothing but a central processing unit also known as central processor which is responsible for the execution of instructions uh, which are involved in the computer program random access memory that is ram stands for random random access memory which can be modified or read in any way basically used for storing data rom that is read only memory non volatile in nature just now we did it it retains the information even if there is a power cut 
and liquid crystal display a flat panel display technology which is used in computers and tv screens even in mobile phones they do, do not just look different but they are you know they work differently too so that is the options all the options explained over here okay now bluetooth is an example now here also we have done all the type of net networks you can say pan lan man and wan so bluetooth will be an example of what bluetooth is an example of what very easy question in fact you itself when i have taken this topic many of them have given an examples so question number 8 bluetooth is an example of what students have not yet started question number 8 okay pushpa is there after okay pushpa the entry itself is the with the answer okay fine pan okay now here you forgot i told you that uh, you have to put the full forms when you are writing any acronym when you see any acronym you have to put the full forms yes okay bhumesh great great all the right answers i was just waiting for the full form to come okay now all has come yes so pan the bluetooth is an example of pan now let's see quickly all the options we will just revise quickly all the networks also yes so when we talk about bluetooth it is nothing but a wireless personal area network that allows the exchange of data as everyone is very familiar with the function of bluetooth it enables the low power less networking between phones computers and other network devices over the short distance which we use now for wan and lan we will also see an examples we'll first come to an examples which we have done in our local uh, regular classes also that is local area network metropolitan area network a wide area network i also have next slides just wait so when we talk about local area network we we talk about uh, the computer network that operates in a small area that connects the computer with small geographical area that is in the form of offices now please when you are reading the theory examples because they can attack you with the examples also so just be careful that is offices companies schools with you know a specific area in the form of home network or a office network or school network that is local lan when we talk about now when we come to metropolitan area network which is an high speed network that spreads over a large geographical area in the form of cities or towns connecting the local networks using routers and the telephone exchange line examples can be cable tv network telephones fire stations or the branches of various schools when i talk about wide area network yes bhumesh distance is also there just 2 minutes just let me complete this i'll come the slides are there okay so when we talk about wan it extends a large geographical area network here like for example see bhumesh your question is answering this particular three lines will answer your question but still i have a next slide it is not confined with school uh, cities or towns uh, basically it is by big organizations or the multinational companies so if we talk about man it in the terms of range man covers up to 50 kilometers whereas van will cover you know a more example of more than 1000 kilometers but in the next slide i have a connect a full uh, fledge uh, this also network range also so local area network the i mean it's just in example form or diagrammatic form i have shown you and the full form is local local area network wan wide area network man metropolitan area network and campus can is campus area network for you may get sometimes full forms also okay so this is just same thing but in a diagrammatic form i have explained you and yes there is one a network that is san it's nothing but a storage area network which is again specialized with high speed network which composes of host switches storage elements okay connected to various technologies and when i say can that is campus it means you know one within one particular campus the uh, networks are connected so that can be an example of can now yes uh bhumesh for you were asking me for the range okay so i have written c 
that is speed also is written and rage also is written it is an image form so just uh, i can't blur it more than this otherwise it will become blur okay i can't uh, expand it more than this so when i talk about pan it is 100 10 to 100 meters lan up to 5 kilometers man 5 to 15 and van can up to 1000 kilometers so this this slide can give you the answer for your question okay yes so just because there are questions on this also so i have targeted today most questions which are repeated in a different form to so just make a note of it okay fine so yes now let's go let's see the next question portrait and landscape forms are for what are they for page orientation are they for paper size are they for page layout or are they for all the given option this is a repeated question so students should not make any mistake just be careful what is portrait and landscape used for we have done this question uh, any students if you remember we you should be able to do it properly okay neelam did mistake last time but now she remembers it very carefully okay yes great uh, sadashiv and pushpa just be careful portrait and landscape always come if you go if you just practically do and see it it comes only for some students have made mistake portraits and landscape always come for page orientation not for page layout it comes for what it comes for page orientation yes those students have answered me for page layout and page size no it is basically for page orientation okay yes be careful for the silly things Uh, such silly things are there but you know in the exam pressure we tend to make lot of mistakes yes next a set of rules used in communications in a network is called as what set of rules which are used in communication as a part of network or in networks are called as what are they called as interface are they called as protocols are they called as address or are they called as reference yes yeah paper size is a4 legal a3 depending upon the paper been used 10th okay question number 10th i have started getting answers very good good to see students are very quick today okay but it's very easy questions you people are doing mistake okay yes so a set of rules that is uh, used in communication network is protocol the interface i those students who are not conf uh, confirm with this or you are not uh, very clear with this word interface interface is nothing but a program that allows a user to interact computers in person or over a network so it is user uh, user i mean to say user to interact with computers is called as interface protocols what we are going to see in detail now basically what is protocol yes so when we talk about protocols protocols is nothing but a standard set of rules that allows the devices to communicate with each other okay essentially it allows or it con connects device to cover structure or design so based there are basically how many types of protocols there are three type of network protocols the first is network management the next is network communication and then next is network security so you should be able to know the types of protocols there are three protocols one is for the management second is for the communication and the third is for the security okay so these are the various rules and regulations or sets of rules which are followed in every protocol okay. yes now which of the following is not a network topology now what is topology and what are this network topologies we are going to see in detail actually this questions were very very common in little bit of old papers but you know any time anything can come and i have not taken this point in my regular lecture so i have added over here which of the following is a set of it's sorry which of the following is not is not a network topology now what is topology and what are this networks we will do okay we are getting answers we have started getting answers yes yeah very good 
yes so right answer chain chain is not a topol uh, sorry is not a network topology now let's see how many types are there and what does a network topology any new student to the class or who is completely unaware of this topic it's nothing but the arrangement with which computer systems or the network devices are connected to each other so a network topology is nothing network it is nothing but a system okay in which computers are or the devices are connected to each other in a various form yes so let's see fabin yeah thank you very much so let's see what are this type of uh, topologies that is i have diagrammatically also i have given and see the name indicates there you know the shapes i mean to say star topology so it is like the one which is in this shape of a star a ring to topology that is circular in nature bus top a topology that is in the form of you know the uh, the indication with the name hybrid to topology tree topology in the form of key diagram mesh in the form of various networks so these are the basic five types of topologies which are found in computer network that is mesh star bus ring and hybrid yes yes they are structure like as per the names very good this this questions are not seen especially last 2 3 years there are no questions seen but be ready with everything okay yes now we are going to have little bit of questions on operating system application software and all so let's see now internet explorer uh, mozilla firefox or opera are referred to as what are they browsers are they application software are they web servers or they are system software students always confused with this yes question number 12th everyone okay great yes i'm just waiting for others to answer come quickly with the answers okay very good so yes uh, when we talk about internet explorer mozilla or opera that are nothing but they are the browsers so let's see now what is this application software students get confused so i've just written it there for the understanding application software basically is nothing but our app in short which we call them is a software that performs specific tasks at the end user in the form like for example microsoft word or excel they can be termed as what they they can be termed as application software now students who are little bit um, yes yes priyesh so students who are bit confused about this because i have seen some students at the end no they just read it or do it you know by heart it and they get confused with the questions so please try to understand when we talk about application application which is applicable so in the form of microsoft word or excel when we talk about web servers it is a computer that runs a server uh, sorry web server is a computer that runs the websites in the form of what the basic objective is to store process a computer program that distributes in the form of you know web pages like a web page users web servers when we talk about system software so system software uh, operating system that is an example of system software which is a type of computer program that is designed to run a computer hardware and application programs so just yes uh, many students have done you know a lot of examples in the regular class also we had lot of it experts rather than me also so they have came up with you know lot of examples and help but basically those who are from non it background just keep basic things in mind application software web uh, servers and system software sometimes the questions are confusing over here okay find it yes now let's go ahead yes now when we talk about computer peripherals that are external and internal you computer peripherals are formed in both now the question is about what the question is about uh just a minute ab homesh i'll complete this and i'll come to your questions also okay now computer peripherals when we are external devices connected to the computer so which of them read the question very carefully which of them contains internal peripheral devices only see i so said that they are external and internal but now the question is given external devices are connected to the computer but how they twisted the question L give the list of input peripheral devices so just give the list of that right option i didn't purposely read so that you should not get confused ha huh. 
ओके प्रिय सॉरी नॉट प्रियश भूमिश टिल द टाइम आई गेट आंसर्स आई जस्ट गिव योर आंसर दैट इज यू हैव सर्च इंजिन एंड वेब ब्राउजर्स अ डिफरेंस ओके सो बेसिकली वेन वी टॉक अबाउट ब्राउजर्स इट इज द वन विच डिस्प्लेस द वेब पेज आई मीन टू से विद द हेल्प ऑफ द यूनिफॉर्म रिसोर्स लोकेटर विच इज अवेलेबल ओके एट द सर्वर्स बट इफ आई टॉक स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट इन सर्च इंजिन दे हेल्प और देर इंटेंशन इज टू गैदर द इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द सर्व सर्वरल यूनिवर आई मीन टू से यू आर एल्स सो दैट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस यू कैन कीप इन माइंड ओके थर्टीन थ एज ऑल्सो देर सी इज ऑल्सो देर लेट सी ओके सो द ऑल दोज ना सी यर वॉट वॉज इट वॉज द क्वेश्चन वॉज क्लियर दैट इज इनपुट ओके माइक्रोफोन्स ट्रैक बॉल माउस और स्कैनर और टच स्क्रीन द इनपुट्स द प्लीज रीड सच क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली आई हैव इन 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 केस इफ यू वॉन्ट फर्स्ट लेट्स गो फॉर द थियोरी येस लेट्स गो फॉर द थियोरी फर्स्ट द सी let's understand and then we'll come to the question again in case if you are so much confused peripheral devices are one which can be external also as i said and which can be internal also external as well as internal so the examples of external in the form of mouse keyboard printers external okay external zip drive or a scanner whereas internal will be your cd rom the DV, cd drive okay or internal modem so internal components are now what are this internal components and what are this external devices or components they are the devices that are either built into the motherboard of the computer or added as an expansion card or a device which is attached to the motherboard by the way of ribbon cables which you can find in the internal if you open the cpu and c whereas externals are the one which are added to the computer system by plugging them into one of the ports at the back of the computer external see please do not get confused with the meaning internal the question was not external the question was basically the list which contains only the input peripheral devices that is option number c some students have still written like option number o a in spite of explaining just be careful yes now your favorite question everyone uh regarding the mesh a terabyte okay a terabyte is equal to what this this questions are definitely going to come projector is not a input device i have told that question to read carefully the question it was in a form to confuse the students okay so let's see what is terabyte equ terabyte is equal to what the options are given below yes b b okay but now uh, let me tell you one thing very clearly uh, terabyte gigabyte megabytes the questions are little bit reduced now it goes with the higher memories which we have learned that also i will show you just first yes okay so one terabyte uh, terabyte is nothing but 1024 gigabytes but yes as i said the questions are not limited to terabyte gigabytes and megabytes it has beyond that okay so i have in the regular class also i have done an example with this still students get confused we we are habitual to go only till petabyte or exabyte okay but please yottabytes brontobytes and zettabytes questions are given on that also so you have to yes you have to uh, be careful on the as i said you have to go beyond zetta also so the chart is given to you very clearly you can take a pick of this and this is very factual you have to remember this very well because the questions on are definitely seen on this yeah i have said that is we have to go beyond now beyond peta zeta we have to go okay yes pushpa everyone i hope it is very clear because this type of questions can be expected in any form charts are given i have purposely waiting so that if anyone wants can take down even the screenshot okay now yes very easy question in which year it act was enacted in india in which year that is 2005 1980 2000 1919 in which year the act was enacted in india yes everyone has done a practice of writing it in the message also good 
but please remember sometimes you know we we tend to in examination all this should be recalled easily so those who are little bit confused with this every alternate days you people should revise this without fail it act was enacted in which year okay i'm purposely waiting so that those who are making mistakes can you know correct it out yes c and a c and a both please do not get confused the information technology act that is ita was enacted in india in the year 2000 2000 it is not 2005 it is 2000 please remember it act was enacted in the year 2000 that is if you want a proper date it is 17th of october i have written the information also Indian Parliament notified on 17th of October 2000 that the primary law in India that will deal with cyber crime and electronic co electronic commerce or basically uh, all the legal recognition for the transaction related to data exchange will be with the help of Information Technology Act 2000 which is also called as ITA Act 2000. Please remember it's October, October, it's not November, it's 17th October 2000. Okay, very basic question. Those who are having a uh, little bit confusion, please remember the year also and the full date also. It is 17th October 2000. Yes. Now, the operating system manages what? Given below, from the given below. The operating system manages what? The operating system manages the memory, whether it is manages the processes, whether it is manages the decks or the input output device that is IO devices or all the above. So what does the operating system manages? Yes, that is Bhumesh has given yesterday we have done knowledge, uh, National Knowledge Commission also known as Think Tank. Remember that was in the year 2005. Yes, so the operating system is the one which manages all the above that is memory, processes, disks, input output devices. Okay, now and again operating system is nothing but a system software that manages the computer hardware there are questions on operating system also as i said so the one which manages the computer hardware and software resources and provides common services for computer programs application programs usually require operating software to function so it manages everything starting from memory to the input output devices okay uh, especially the students who have little bit of uh, yes so govardhan has given everything you can just note it down uh, any student over here who is little bit scared of this IT, ict subject please remember that you know a detail i mean to say it's students who are non from the from non it background no don't have to worry at least these basic things you people have to revise the questions revolve round in an in and around this topics so this topic should be clear with you in order to you know uh, just take out the fear of the subject okay yes question number 17 everyone now which a previous year question no previous year questions are not there pushpa in this these are all uh, different questions only previous year i will start from next week i will start all the practice of previous year questions up to 2020 that is my next target now okay question number 17th everyone indian government okay i'll repeat it sorry twice indian government had launched a new operating system in the country which will replace all the operating system including microsoft Win windows so which is that whether it is called as bharat operating system solution whether it is called as bharat operating uh, system solution the two okay sorry operate a system solution whether it is bharat operating software solution bharat operating system solution so which are they oh i i forgot to change the meaning anyway so which is the one which is uh, re which will be replaced by will be replacing all the other operating system yes nirmal pandey don't worry be happy but be study add add uh, the sentence complete this sentence like that 
Yes, I know some options. I was supposed to change them, but it couldn't. Yes, A, C, A, B, D. One only you have to. That is boss, which you can. It's it is Bharat Operating System Solution. I just forgot to mismatch that. It is called as Bharat Operating System Solution, the one which has been launched by the Indian government to replace the operating system, including Microsoft Windows. Okay, so let's little bit have a. Uh, yes, yes, three options. I. I think in a hurry I forgot to misplace it but yes the right option is Bharat operating system solution a bonus point for you all now let's see that is Bharat operating system solution is a free and open source distribution which was developed keep this in mind that is national source cent resource center for free and open source software NRC FOS FOSS okay which was developed by uh, NR, NRC FOSS as well as Center for Development of Advanced Computing that is CDAC in Chennai which has actually initially released in the year 2007 that is 10th Jan 2007 yes Bharat Operating System Solution bonus bonus question bonus marks for everyone for this question so now out of 20 one question you have already got okay yes question number 18 now encoding or scrambling data for transmission across a network is known as what encoding or scrambling of data uh, for transmission across a network is known as what is it called as protection is it called as detection is it called as encryption or it is called as decryption what exactly it is known as 15th a 15th c okay both the options are there okay little bit yes a also is there c is also yes but majority of the students are right it is the scrambling the encoding or scrambling of data basically is called as encryption now what is that okay uh, now uh, when we talk about just wait a minute a student has posted i'll just just let me i'll just see the messages if any doubt has been posted so when we talk about encryption or decryption what is this process about so when it is nothing but converting the information or data into a code so encryption is nothing but see it's talking about what transmission across a network so that encoding uh, that is data for transmitting the data across a network is called as encryption which is nothing but a process of converting the regular information or a data into a code now when we talk about uh, especially to prevent what it, it when we talk about encryption it is done specially to prevent uh, unauthorized access okay now when you do this in a form of decryption it means nothing but you know getting back the conversion i mean to say a process that transfers the encrypted data or information into original form form that is sorry a d process will be called as decryption is it clear a uh, priyesh what uh, i didn't what what is uh, i didn't get what you are asking me i'll just just type it little bit clearly you know so that i can uh, get it properly okay in maybe in the crash course or strategy classes if you have done you are mean to say fine yes okay question number 19 uh yes which of the one f is the following who is not an internet service provider which of the one who is not the internet service provider from the given below uh, mtnl bsnl uh, ednet india or infotech india limited Uh, 
uh, is there better option revision to retain no revision i mean to say especially for such type of exams yes i have got the right answer just 2 minutes i'll just answer the dolly's question dolly uh, such type of exams no i mean to say in such competitive exams revision is the only way to retain the information uh, what you are doing and that revision has to be in a different strategy if you just do it in a rote form of learning in one week span of time you will forget especially at such an higher age uh, i mean to say little bit you know having lot of things around in and around us uh it becomes a little difficult okay now yes the the one who is not a service internet service provider that is infotech india limited so you can get any such uh forms uh, easy questions but you don't get confused that it it can be an option or not okay yes so now s that is oblique mimi is an internet technology which stands for m s oblique m i m e whether it is secure multi purpose internet mail extension secure multimedia internet mail extension multi purpose internet mail extension or multimedia internet mail extension what is it uh, shilpa commerce classes are there but commerce class live commerce classes are not uh, started yes uh 20th answer d b all options are coming okay i'm just waiting for the right answer to come a b c d all are 20th everyone has given all the answers and today no one will go because all the questions were very easy i just want to see everyone's score today okay uh yes so the right answer it comes as secure multi purpose internet mail extension secure i there were lot of options ev everyone has given it is secure multi purpose internet mail extension now what it is it is nothing but a technology that allow allows one to encrypt one's email okay that is you know from the information that is code, coding of an information so for that we use a technology and the technology is called as secure multi purpose internet mail extension i think gautam has given right i don't know any other one because all bc bc options were only there okay so it is still the students have you know given in giving me the wrong answers it is secure multi purpose internet mail extension which allows to encrypt one's email that is the main purpose of this technology okay fine uh yes today pretty well we have uh, completed now yes before we uh, i want to say i just wanted to make two three announcement everyone now see some students are very much concerned with you know previous year papers so uh, after tomorrow we have a lecture regularly saturday sundays you will be having lectures by zeba ma'am from next that is the coming monday onwards no i'll try my level best to complete all the university papers for all the topics so that you know the previous this year question papers also uh, yes scores very good all my obedient students are putting the scores very well one was bonus okay anyways but can you can count that and you can appreciate yourself with good marks uh, so next week onwards our main focus will be university papers with all the options so those who have not revised it it will be a good revision meanwhile you can cover all my classes description box has all the links just make yourself little bit ready uh and positively ready so that you can crack your examination in this upcoming uh, session yes now uh, a new announcement for everyone uh global online university is proud to announce that we have started uh, courses for not only net set but uh, economics and commerce apart from paper 1 but gujarat set west bengal set k set and ap set also is started wherein the core strategy is you will be getting full syllabus mock test you will be getting pdf solution with answers notes will be provided on all the units 2000 plus mcqs on the topics will be provided video lectures which will be at the cost of 999 the whatsapp numbers are reflecting so anyone who is interested can get in touch okay 
tomorrow you will get a notification commerce shilpa it's a, it has already started you can just contact online you mean to say the live classes uh, that even i am not aware so you will get a notification for that rest of the details are given on the screen so you people can get in touch and tomorrow's topic we will put it uh, i'll put it in the notification which topic we are going to do tomorrow okay thank you very much uh, have a great day ahead night ahead and yes don't stop studying uh, don't worry be happy but be study one of the tagline from your group only okay bhumesh what is your question